Don't marry a wrong person and what's really going on with Prince Harry and Meghan. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. So what's going on with Prince Harry and Meghan? Don't marry the wrong person. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brianne. Well, we are having this gorgeous, gorgeous day out here on Grandma's porch. And I just did my five mile run and it was so absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. And so I got to thinking about don't marry the wrong person and how that got started with me this morning thinking about that subject is i was reading all these articles about prince harry and megan now first of all i don't know their situation i'm not in their situation i'm not up close and personal so i can't judge what's going on there and i would be foolish to do so okay what's going on in their marriage is probably a lot more than what we're seeing you know um you know the tabloids and publicity often skew the truth so we really don't know and it's their business not mine and not ours and so they get to decide what's right for their life so i am not judging their marriage or their actions what I am talking about is when we marry the wrong person so it really got me to thinking about that because in other situations I've seen where someone has gotten married to someone who has pulled them away from their families that has pulled them away from their friends that tore down bridges rather than built bridges you know there are people in life that build bridges and then there are people that tear them down. There are people that are opportunists in world. They look for an opportunity. And often those people who are opportunists, opportunists, <laughs> I can't say it right, but you know what I mean. Um, people like that will often pull them away from the people that care about them from their foundation, weakening them and so that they can control that person now. Now, I'm not saying that is the situation here at all. You know, there are also people that we marry that can be a right person. There can be wrong people that we marry that pull us away and tear down bridges. But there also can be right people that we marry that pull us away from the wrong people. So what is it? Well, I believe when it comes to family, even if the family is messed up and dysfunctional and all kinds of things, I believe it, maybe not in every situation, but for the most part, it's important to, to build bridges, not burn them down. And that doesn't mean that we're going to hang out with them all the time or, you know, um, buddy, buddy up or ignore the flaws in that family. Not at all. Not at all. I'm not saying that. But sometimes we can maintain some kind of quality relationship with families that are even dysfunctional to a degree now maybe not in all situations as i said can we maintain a relationship i know people that have torn off relationships or broke off relationships um, and for very very good reason but most of the time that should not and is not the situation and yet when someone marries the wrong person that wrong person begins to manipulate them and often, once they're married, they have kids, they have financial attachments, so it's not easy to leave the marriage. And the person who was torn away often regrets being torn away, but they don't know what to do. They feel helpless because on one hand, they're married, a family, commitments, obligations, and yet they miss their family.
And so I think that the person who's the opportunist, opportunist, the person who has pulled them away and done, done the, the breaking down of the bridges, it's really up to them to help mend those bridges and help pull that family back together. Like I said, I don't know what the situation is with Megan and Harry. I don't know if, you know, they pulled away because there was so much dysfunction and maybe that was a good thing. Or I don't know if maybe, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that situation. And I think it is always foolish for us to... Um, uh, sit there and judge another person's situation because really I don't know and most of us don't really know all the inner workings that are going on there but I can say that it's important to create bridges in relationships between families and marriages and it's important when someone gets married of course you have your own family now too but the original family is still part of your family on both sides of the fence even when they're not perfect families perfect in Laws, perfect anything. We often, um, if possible, should try to build relationships with them at some level, build bridges to a relationship. And it can be a varying degree of a relationship. And sometimes when we get married, that person that we married pulls us away from people that are wrong for our lives too. If I've had a bad friend and, you know, they were really hanging out in the wrong places and pulling me in that direction, and I get married and my spouse pulls me away from that friend, that's kind of a good thing, isn't it? It. That's really a good thing. And yet I can still be polite to that friend, most likely, and, you know, have a bridge still there of like, hey, hi, it's great to see you, talk to you on the phone once a year, whatever, you know, but I probably should not be up close and personal. So, you know, when you look at someone else's marriage, like Harry and Megan, um, it's easy to judge other people, but we really don't know what's going on there. We really don't. And so, you know, some people can say, oh, someone's an opportunist or someone can say um, it's the family's fault, the original family's fault. Um, you know, people can say all kinds of things, but I will say this is that we should build bridges, not tear them down. We should find a way to work with each side of the family when you're married um, and, you know, realizing that in-laws and family are not perfect. And so if there's any way that a person can build a bridge rather than tear it down. That's so important. But we have to also remember not to marry somebody who who tears down bridges and doesn't build them, at least doesn't build them in the right direction. Often they'll build a bridge, but in their direction, not in the direction that should have been for, for us or for me or for whoever. So I guess it comes down to marry the right person. If someone tries to pull you away from people that genuinely love you, genuinely care, genuinely are good for you, then there's a problem there. Okay, then there's a problem. But if someone tries to pull you away from wrong influences and bad situations, then that could be a very good thing. So, you know, what's the situation here with them? I don't know. And we will probably never really know the real story. And the one lesson that we can learn is don't judge a book by its cover. So don't judge a situation by what we read in the tabloids. Don't judge the situation what we hear them even speaking publicly because often they're very careful. Uh, people are careful what they speak publicly on all ends. So we really often just don't get the real story. And so I think our time is better spent building our own best lives, creating our own best lives. But do be aware that there are opportunists out there that can pull you away from the people that love you you. And I always say, don't marry someone that's going to pull you away from a family that loves you. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope to talk to you soon again. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all four of my channels. And the links are pinned to the top of the comments below. And I hope you have a great day. So from my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you all soon again. Bye-bye.
place to relax and a place to enjoy you. Grandma's Park.